Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm working on this G16 golf cart by Yamaha. It's a gas powered cart. It doesn't run well at low RPM. I'll show you what it does. doesn't work good at low idle so we're gonna have to uh, take the carburetor apart and take a look at it so we have to take the air box off there's a bolt there and a bolt right there takes a 10 millimeter socket there's an air line going to the box right here but i'll pop off later when we take this off and there's two bolts right here and here take a... slide the air box that that way and pull it out Now you take the air box out of there and plug it so Shut the key off, make sure the golf cart don't start turning over. So we should be able to pull the carburetor right out of there. So I'm going to clean the carburetor right here. I'm going to put my rag right here. I'm going to take this off here. So this carburetor doesn't look too bad. There's no dirt in there. Well, I'm going to take my welding tip cleaner here. Yeah, that looks good. There's one in here too. And that's clean too. I'm going to have to adjust the pilot jet there right here. Clean this up a little bit. So the carb spray here. I'm spraying in every port. This is a pilot jet. I'm gonna turn that three quarter turn out. So that's half a turn, but it, it won't let you go further out. So I'm gonna have to pry this up a little bit. Right there, pop it off. And then go exactly half a turn. There, and put it back on. That should be good there, right there. So I just pin it back in there. Good. It's all clean in there. Just bowl back in. Clean the inside of that. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good here too. Put it back in here. Take a screwdriver and pry this up like that, and then this should come out. I've already done that. So. Just pull on that. Pull right out. Just to make it faster, you just turn the screw in. You go all the way in. It'll still be governed. It'll make it go a little faster. Now the gas pedal is not moving. So right here is your gas pedal cable right here. And I press the gas, it's not moving. If you look at it, the cable's loose right here. Look. All right, I'll back this knot all the way off here. It gives us nice room here. You can take the cable out here, and then you can slide it right off. All right, I'll back that knot off here, so we should be able to pull that out. There you go. Now, there's a clip underneath this pin that's missing, so I'm going to raise it up. That pin's gone, we'll have to find that and slide that up, but there's also a spacer right there. We don't want to lose that spacer. Let's fill it right down right there. We'll leave it right there. Now I'm going to take this cable right out. I have to cut three tie wraps off. I left them on the frame so I know where to put the new ones back on. I'm just going to work the cable back and forth here. Both ends. All right, I put both ends here in the vise. Let's put some uh, more lubricant in here. Okay. 
All right, I got this freed up there really good. Looking really good. Put that back on the buggy. Tighten that nut up here. Yeah, I managed to put that piece of wire underneath there. And I got the spacer between this right here. This, this spring here goes between the two uh, end pieces here, like that. Put the clip back in here, tighten this bolt up. Just guard back in. I put a tie wrap back here, here, and back, and back there. And I tighten that up right there. I gave it a little more tension right there because the cable's a little bit loose. So I'll slide the uh, this back in. I'm gonna slide that over the studs of the carburetor. Hose there. Can't forget that hose there. Put the bolt back in. Yeah, if you like this video, just thumbs up for lunch, subscribe to my channel, thank you for watching.